Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Pink Flash Studio. And this time I want to show you an idea on how to document your teenager using the new and beautiful uh, and super versatile, super cool collection from um, Pink Flash Studio. I know it sounded redundant. And what you're going to see me do is create a layout from scratch. I had a simple idea, uh, but it changed through the, the layout. And what I'm going to document with this collection is a picture of my 19 year old boy i know i can't believe he's gonna not gonna be a teenager by the end of this year it hurt so you're gonna see like i said i started from scratch i only had the picture of my son and uh, my kids are christmas babies so you usually take a picture of them at the beginning of the year usually portraits so that we can track how they change through the year so i'm gonna pull actually the super fun paper you saw me that i auditioned all the papers with the picture so i started with the picture in mind in this case and i really like the little tags and tickets from this paper this is called super fun um so what i'm gonna do is i love the fact that in a vertical line but i want to switch the direction i want to actually kind of cluster them in a horizontal line so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go ahead and fussy cut all these little papers but i'm going to keep them in two um separate piles if you're gonna if you see right now the the paper sorry it has two big clusters of ephemera in this case tickets and stuff like that so i'm gonna cut them or fussy cut them in those clusters so you're gonna see that if you have questions you know sometimes there's that note paper and you want to keep the edges i want to actually kind of fold some of the edges like you know like it looks like you rip it from the page the best thing you're gonna can do is usually a punch um a punch holder i think that's how you say it a single punch holder i think it's one eight or one four net one eight uh punch hole and that just creates the circles and then just fussy cut the little lines and i have my little um edge of the notebook and then you're gonna see that i'm just gonna take my time fussy cut it i'm actually gonna take it off camera and do it off camera and then i'm come back and show you what i'm gonna do so now that I have that in place, I, I want, you're going to see that I'm going to form the idea that I have in mind. And I, remember I said I kept the die cut or in this case the fussy cut in two clusters. And what I want to do is I want to center the picture right in between the clusters. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to use actually the leftover paper from the super fun paper, which has this beautiful grid to create the background for my page. But since I fussy cut all that um, those tickets, I'm actually going to glue a six inch uh, piece of paper from the choir paper that's the one that has all the instruments but the b side has actually this uh, dot print on pink so i thought the color combination was going to work really um really well for what i have in mind so i'm going to go ahead and stitch them together and now i'm going to start working on um creating this layer finishing this layer so first thing i'm going to do is i want to keep the picture very neutral because i want all the colors and the in the embellishments and in the tickets to make to make it pop and stand out so i'm just going to use a piece of vellum behind the picture and i'm going to add some foam adhesive to make sure that the picture is the one that pops from the page now that i have that in place you're going to see that i'm going to go ahead and pretty much glue it um i'm going to see it right on the lower part of the grid paper from the super fun uh, paper and then once i'm gonna start working on it i decided that i needed to fussy cut some of the tickets from the cluster i'm not gonna fussy cut the whole thing just some of the areas for example that tag i'm gonna just kind of stretch some of the areas uh like when the notes are superimposed just so that i can create some uh dimension so when i cut them i'm actually gonna add some foam adhesive behind them so that it gives the impression that they're actually uh kind of stacked on top of each other instead of just being too to, uh a two-dimensional i want to add that kind of movement and dimension to the page so you're going to see that i'm going to cut some of them out i'm going to try to follow the line and i'm going to add some foam adhesive behind them just to make them stand up and um once i have all that in place you're going to see that i'm going to start literally building um the layout and this layer took me no time to construct actually it was pretty easy very fun to put together um which is actually really really good uh really um i'm going to say um what's the word that i'm looking for I change because usually my layouts took a while because I overthink them but this one was very easy and very fun to put together so all you're gonna see right now is I'm just gonna start kind of building everything I'm gonna bring some of those acetate words just because it has that deep blue that I'm looking for the word fun on this um in the clusters I have the red at the top left corner 
of the cluster so I'm going to add I'm going to use the word epic just to balance the page so you're going to see right now that I'm just attaching the picture with some foam adhesive and then I'm just going to start adding all the pieces that I have fussy cut and and add some foam adhesive um, underneath them just to create different dimensions when I glued the pieces together and this was super fun like I said it took two pieces of paper and a lot of ephemera because you're going to see not a lot but just playing around with some of the ideas and there's so much um, beautiful embellishments there's a uh, lot of things that teenagers do teenagers say um, things that not just for teenagers you can use it for a lot of things very versatile I already have some ideas on how to use it for something other than teens and something other than a boy for this uh, collection so you're gonna see all I'm doing right now is just building the clusters I'm gonna once I have all the pieces that I fussy cut and glue together then I'm gonna start bringing uh, some of the embellishments one of the ones I want to bring like I said is that acetate piece that is so epic just because it has that navy that already is on the left hand side onto the right hand side so I'm gonna try to work at creating or not creating but bringing elements that repeat on both sides I already have uh, quite a bit of that big red ticket right next to my son so I'm gonna make sure that I bring pops of red on the right hand side too I'm also gonna bring um, a little bit more green onto the left hand side of the layout just because I have the big love uh, ticket um, tag next to the notebook so you're gonna see that I bring some of the um, cardstock cardstock stickers yes I'm also gonna bring uh, what I had a hard time working was is the mustardy tone that you see in the super cool um, ticket right on the bottom left of the picture I had a real uh, not a real hard time because I couldn't find something that fit the design but then I found this little uh, hexagon that said YOLO and then I'm gonna put it like right on the picture and then I'm gonna bring um, a few more circles just because that BU um, sticker it's round so I'm gonna bring a few more I found this little star in the car stock uh, in the ephemera pack and I thought it was great just to bring some of the red from the like I said I'm trying to balance the page and then I'm gonna bring another circle of green um, from the cardstock sticker and then I'm just gonna set it aside for now until I continue building my layout and for the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the title and I wanted something this collection has two different sets of alphas the small white alpha is gorgeous but this blue one it was really big and hefty just to kind of balance the page so my title is gonna read hello 19 so I'm gonna spell the word 19 with this soft uh, blue alphas it's um, a light blue very nice color and then I'm gonna bring up one of the puffy stickers that says hello has a little bit of that pink coral tone that I already have at the top so it's a nice uh, and also the same script so it's a nice combination nice way to balance the page and then I found on the ephemera pack this little um, oh my god this little ride that says let the ride begin it actually has like amusement park and something uh, that my kids my kids don't like amusement parks uh, they're afraid of the rides funny enough so I'm gonna use it there because I know I'm not gonna use it anywhere else so I'm just gonna add it there because I need to bring some of the red um, to the bottom of the page after that I went out of camera um, you guys see there I bring up a little bit more navy with the sneaker and then I went out of camera typed my lines with journal just because I thought that I want to type quite a bit I want to talk about this and again this is one of the layouts that's gonna go into my son's um, album so I make sure that I talk for him you know at this moment for him in the future and then I just typed it up cut it apart and um just you know put it glue it back in place sorry and then all I'm gonna do is bring a little bit more of the colors that I have at the top to the bottom of the layer and that's just gonna add some stickers and I'm gonna use enamel dots um it's a great way to elongate your design to bring some colors without making it really bulky so I'm gonna use a combination of all of them I'm gonna bring some of the red right to the bottom part of the layout I'm gonna bring some green because I already have red on the amusement park ephemera I'm gonna bring little pops of green um, to the sides where I need to balance the page and once I have that the only thing that I added is that be yourself stick remember that I said I was looking for something in that mustardy kind of brownish tone right underneath the picture and then added um, the date and I, I don't think you see it here because I finished, like I said, I've created my two layers back to back. So I think my video actually finishes right about now. All I'm going to do is also actually, sorry, 
is that I added the strings to every single tag. I like adding strings, making sure that, you know, they are, there's something that continues the movement. And in this case, I'm using a wax cord. So I'm able to put it in, in, in to shape it in place. And in this case, I give them some curvature just to cut some of the straight lines that some of the tickets have. So you're going to see that I'm, once I string or loop the string through the holes, I actually add some glue and keep everything in place. I put uh, some weight on it so it, like, you know, it dries in place. And that's about it. I think um, it took me, this layout took me an hour to put together. It was so much fun. Like I said, I started just with the picture um, in mind and just, I knew that I wanted to just create something really fun for this because like I said, my son is going to be 20 next year. And uh, I hope you like it. As always, if you have any questions on how this came together, do not hesitate to contact me. Check out the collection. You're going to love it. It's vivid. It's vibrant. It's super fun. The word super cool fits it to a T. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, don't forget to visit the blog uh, to check the other project that I created. And to subscribe to the channel, there's a lot of content always being added by the design team. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.